EA is launching a new subscription service for the Xbox One, and Sony has come out trashing it. Those are the headlines we'll be covering from VGN. So EA is launching a new program for the Xbox One that works a lot like Netflix. You'll be able to pay $5 a month or $30 a year and have access to certain games. So the beta program is rolling out this summer. Here's what you'll be getting, at least if you're taking part in it right at the beginning. They said you'll have access to Battlefield 4, FIFA 14, Peggle 2, and Madden NFL 25. Again, that's $5 a month or $30 a a year. Now, on top of that, you'll also be getting a 10% discount for anything digital from EA on the Xbox Store. So if you're buying DLC, you're buying premium packages, you're buying a brand new game that is in digital format, then you'll be able to get a 10% discount on top of that game. You'll also have up to five days early access two games before they come out and hit the store shelves. So you'll be able to play games, try them out before the games release. They said you can save your progress as you're playing the game. And then once the game does release, then you can just pick up from where you left off because you've saved the progress. So if you decide to buy the game, then you can just uh, pick up with that trial period. So you're getting early access to games, you're getting a 10% discount, and you're getting access or full access to some of EA's biggest titles. Now, there are some titles missing, like Titanfall, and they did say that more games will be added, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that and see how fast uh, new games are added to the system and how that all is going to work. But as it stands right now, those are the conditions that EA is launching with, again, for the Xbox One. Now, you may say this is Electronic Arts, this is EA, so surely this will be coming to PlayStation pretty soon. And, I mean, I would think the same exact thing. That's exactly what I thought whenever I read this. And I was actually surprised because it was Sony that turned this down. It was Sony that said, we don't want any part of this. But here's why Sony actually turned down the EA subscription program. Here's what they said. Here's, this is a Sony rep that I'm quoting. They said, We evaluated the EA Access subscription offering and decided that it does not bring the kind of value PlayStation customers have come to expect. PlayStation Plus memberships are up more than 200% since the launch of PlayStation 4, which shows that gamers are looking for memberships that offer a multitude of services across various devices for one low price. Could it be that possibly some of that 200% is because Sony makes you get a PlayStation Plus membership in order to play games online with a lot of their titles? So, anyway, continuing, we don't think asking our fans to pay an additional $5 a month for this EA-specific program represents good value to the PlayStation Gamer. So, Sony, so concerned about the consumer's value for that $5. So, what would Sony think is a better value for me, the customer? Tell me, Sony. Oh! You think I should spend my $5 playing four hours of Deuce X Human Revolution on the PlayStation Now subscription service. <laughs> Maybe that's where you see the value in this. So, for consumers, Sony is basically grabbing you by the balls and they're definitely not giving you the better choices for you determining what's the better value for your money. So, something to keep an eye on. Definitely something that could be coming to PlayStation. Uh, you know, if enough fans spoke out and said, you know, let the consumers decide what is the better value because that's the way it, you know, is definitely going to give the consumers the better value. The more options you have, the better options you have. <laughs> you just want options, trust me. So, post below, let me know what do you think. 
Do you think that's a little unfair? Do you think Deuce X Human Revolution for $5 for four hours is a lot better value than the EA subscription service? Do you think both are a terrible service? Or is it something that you're interested in and you're going to be taking part of? Stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGN, videogamesandnews.com, for the latest news and headlines as it's happening. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. Drop a like and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.